Hi, this is Mike with Weiss Brothers of Hagerstown, and what we want to do today is go through the basic maintenance of a sensor vacuum cleaner. Uh, first of all, the components of the sensor vacuum cleaner, um, your cord, your onboard tools, your brush assembly, and there's some filters in a bag we're going to get into here in a minute. A um, couple things when you're using the sensor. Uh, one thing I do not recommend is carrying the sensor by the handle. Because this is connected inside and there are electric connections running through, I don't recommend picking that up by the handle. Um, it will eventually loosen the electric connection um, and eventually your back motor won't turn on. Again, as I pull this handle out though, uh, you can see the benefit of having this handle. Cords will break, cords will get run over, um, so in the event that that does happen and the cord needs to be replaced, generally the vacuum will be out of service, put into a closet and not being used. So, the nice feature with this is this handle is replaceable. It's a quick out. You get a replacement, put it in, and our vacuum is off and running while the old handle, the cord, is being replaced. Inside, your bag assembly, inside the casing, on green clips, squeeze and pull out. Um, to replace the bag, just push in and it will lock into place. As a note, the case will not close if the bag is not in place. You'll not be able to close the case. So the bag has to be in in order for the case to close the vacuum to be operable. Set this to the side. Filter. The, in, the filter on the inside is basically to improve your air quality as you're using the vacuum. A uh, very important thing about vacuums is to improve the air quality in your facility. Uh, filter is easily removed by the silver tab on the side. It will pull out. This should be replaced about once every pack of bags. So a pack of bags is 10, so about every 10 bags this should be replaced. Otherwise you're decreasing the efficiency of the vacuum and you're not getting the air quality that you should be getting. This slides back in and locks. That is filter number one. On the inside here, on your power head, there's another filter. The purpose of this filter is to catch the particulates coming from the carbon brushes on your vacuum motor. This filter can be washed. Um, after so many times of this being washed, the filter will start to feel brittle. Um, at that time, the filter should be replaced. Put that back in here. Is that. Your brush assembly on the bottom. Um, this brush will self-adjust to the floor. There's no reason to adjust it. It will do it by itself to replace it. There's a blue button on the top here. Simply press that button, the side panel comes off, and your brush roller slides out. The whole brush roller is to be replaced. A couple key features. The sensor is a smart vacuum, so it will tell you when most things need to be done to the vacuum. For example, on the top, there are several light indicators. There's a check brush indicator, which means that you could have a tangle um, or that your brush, the bristles are running too low and the vacuum is not being effective. At that point, you would want to change your brush. There is also a bag full or clog light. Uh, when this indicator comes on, it will mean A, you have a clog, which means you have to check your bag. If your bag is not full, you do have a clog somewhere. If you open it, your bag is full, it's time to replace it. Keep in mind that with these bags, these bags are a top fill bag. Dirt is being constantly pushed down into this bag. These bags will fill almost to the top uh, before needing replaced. Um, so you don't want to change this bag until that light comes on. So we'll put this back in here. The carry points, as I said, not to pick it up by the handle. The carry point is here on the back on the cord wrap. This is a proper place to lift. And also on the front. This is also another proper place to lift. When wrapping the cord, so your cord does not become braided and tangled over time, there's simply a quick release here on the back. Always unplug your cord first before winding. What you want to do is just hold on that strain relief, take your cord, and just wrap on the bottom. What this does as you're wrapping your cord, it allows the opposite end of the cord to unwind as you wind this cord up. If you need to check for clogs, the place you want to do it is a small orange trap door on the bottom. 
This simply opens and closes. This is near where the neck bends up into the vacuum chamber. This is where 99% of your clubs will be. And simply, that is basic maintenance on a sensor vacuum.